According to Demon right. Mommy, you completely blew up at Cherry. That's a really bad look, not gonna lie. Um, sometimes me and Cherry got stressed out and would yell, but, like, no more than just general, like, friend arguments and stuff. Have you ever had a friend talk to you like that? Ever? Let alone a boss? All right. Let's see if this live stream is working. Uh, I just clicked go live. We're gonna play some Risk of Rain 2 as the background, you know? Just a good way to, uh have something to look at while I go over this because Demon Mama and Cherry are lying out their ass. What they're showing you, of course, is real, but you're missing massive amounts of content. Uh, context. I'm going to be going over all of this with you guys. First, I have to go make an announcement, though, uh, with uh, an announcement, though. Uh, What's with, it called? Uh, with Sanders Discord. All right, there we go. All right, so my stream is working. Let me get up the stream so that I can have a chat pop out. All right. Let's pop out the chat. Pop out chat. Let me throw this to the side. Sorry, I didn't think I'd be doing this today, everybody. So, uh, if you guys think any of what Xander has said in these screenshots are bad, just you wait until you see how Cherry regularly treated Xander. So I'm going to wait until the stream, uh, like the announcement has gone out. I don't really care how many people are in here, but let's just get some people in here. So the reason I'm doing this and not Xander is that Xander's birthday was yesterday. He's trying to chill with his mother. He's trying to relax. And honestly, I think I'm the one who's angry about this situation. Because the things that are being lied about here are things that I've desperately wanted to talk about for a very long time. And Xander has covered for Cherry to try to protect Cherry. Because while Xander thought Cherry, what Cherry did was wrong, he thought Cherry was getting better. It seems that we're obviously fucking lied to. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get this going. So, um, one of the things, uh, I'll just cover what's already been said, and I'm sure I'm not going to fall behind much on the Demon Mama stream, because she can't fucking get to the point, because she has barely anything of substance to talk about. Last thing she just showed on the stream was a breakdown Xander had that had something to do, if I remember correctly, with the progressive victory pay and Cherry stalling on getting it taken care of. Xander had rent coming up and was in a, uh, had a bad mental health episode. And he ended up blowing up on Cherry because Cherry uh, delayed getting his finances sorted in a situation in which rent was, you know, incoming. And while you can obviously say this isn't the best possible way to react to a person, when someone has your finances in their hands and is dicking around not doing anything with it, that's the least of your concern. Now, Cherry's non-responding was because Cherry was asleep and Sanders painted this bad guy. But this is something Cherry would do regularly. I was in Seattle, Southern Seattle, uh, at the time in which I met Demon Mama, Vosh, and Xandra. Right? I was in Xander's house and it was 1am. At the time, I had not worked for Cherry at all. And I... I'll get to why I'm not showing screenshots in a second. At the time, I could, I, I did not work for Xander. I did not work with Cherry. I was a friend of Xander. Cherry knew me. Occasionally, I came on to stream, right? And so, what ended up happening was that I was, I think I was a little high or something. I was sitting in the living room, drinking some rum, watching trailers for a game. When I start getting a shit ton of notifications on my phone from Cherry, I'm like, oh no, something's wrong, right? And Cherry starts saying, wake up, wake up, wake up my, uh, tell your boss, his man, his manager is like calling him, uh, referring to herself as his manager. And it was a little confusing. I was like, w what are you talking about? Because it was 1 a.m. and Xander was sound asleep, right? And I'm in his home and I'm not his employee or anything like that. She starts spamming me, telling me, wake him up now. Exactly as you see Xander spamming me, uh, spamming Cherry. Cherry did that to me, a person they did not know or work with, and Cherry would regularly do this to Xander. And this was simply Xander blasting back. Now, what ended up happening was that Cherry had this big ass meltdown on me and was like, oh man, you know, I have to, I have to, to talk to Xander right now. You have to wake up Xander Hall right now. I have to talk to him because Xander, uh, Cherry was having a mental breakdown. This was pretty par for the course. But then they started hurling abuse at me when I said, this is, pr you're kind of full of yourself. You can't just demand me to do this. And I want to show you guys, like, I would love to show you guys the DMs, uh, but they ended up deleting that account and I lost them. And on top of that, their current account, if I go to Cherry right now, where they apologize for this behavior retroactively, is entirely without any context whatsoever. 
because they went back and they nuked all of their messages with me. So if we go through here, I think I can find um, LMAO, all good, hope you're well. And this was around, I want to say this was the time in which Cherry came to me and apologized for doing exactly what was just shown on Demon Mama's stream to me. While Xander absolutely had a mental breakdown on someone, that's called being a human being. And Cherry was just as guilty of these same things and would do them regularly. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. Who do you think's telling the truth here? Those who really don't care to interact with us until they begin li being lied about? Or those who have to go back and scrub all of their messages for some reason? Just deleting them. Mind you, on top of this, their most recent messages... Oh, all of... Oh, wow! They just did this. This was not... This was not gone. This was not gone even a few minutes ago. They had only deleted where they were apologizing to me and forward. So they're doing this currently. They are panicking currently. Probably. Oh, Xander's calling. I'm so sorry. Hello. Actually, they need Yo. to me the contract to let PV use my clips and then they pay me so I can put down the big payment on the place. Okay, cool. So that makes sense, yeah. right? Um, it was a case yeah, of... Yeah, to clarify, had... P PV, PV pays me for my clips because normally, if you upload clips from a YouTuber, they might not do anything about it, but... If you just do that, they all they have to do is just click some buttons and take that down. They can strike you. It's kind of worrying if you're like an organization trying to have an official channel and there's YouTubers who are uploading their own clips and then you're taking those clips and re-uploading them. So they have me sign a contract that agrees you will not strike us, you will not claim us or anything. We can use your clips for promotion. I'm like, yeah, of course. Yeah, I, I, that's advertisement for me. And you guys are going to pay me? Sure. Uh, sorry, and Sherry I... wouldn't send that over uh, fast enough, so I was just spamming their uh, DMs so that they would get to their computer. Yeah, I, um, what's it called? Very, very bizarre, right? And obviously, you had a mental breakdown because your rent was fucking due. God forbid a man have a not breakdown rent. and a friend... No, not no, rent. Not, not rent. You, you're getting details wrong. Oh, payment you're for the place. The it, but details wrong. I was My moving bad. into this place, and the office for the, the like, the, re not the retailer, the, um, the rental for this place was about to close in literally, like, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and I needed to get that payment sent to them, and so I needed to get all that contract stuff dealt with, and the reason why this was, like, pushed so much was because, if I remember correctly, Cherry was unavailable for some reason, like, hanging out with friends or something, Sleeping and, the like, there wasn't supposed to be a delay in anything, the, like, I, I don't know, like, there was just a bunch of fuck that came out of nowhere to screw me there, and I was stressed out and just blowing up Cherry's DMs because they have speakers on for their notifications, and when I message them or anyone messages them or ats them, it makes a little bloop, bloop sound because they don't have do not disturb or, or turn off notifications on. So when I would spam that and they'd spam me, usually it'd be the best way to get each other's attention. So Cherry going back and scrubbing all of their DMs, and if you're going to talk about this, you gotta show proof. So just go ahead and bring up the Discord. Like, bring up your Discord interactions with Cherry on the screen. Oh, well, um, I, I actually tried to. Feet. Remember how I had my Discord interactions set up? Uh, correctly? Hold on, sorry, I gotta fit this to screen. Uh, sorry, transform. Do, 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 fit to screen. Anyways, uh, remember how I had, um, some DMs left with Cherry and they hadn't nuked all of them and had only nuked where they apologized with me? If we go to, um... Mm -hmm. No, but if we show go, it. Well, like, show I, I it, did, though. I already have. Uh, oh wait, I just realized my, it's on uh... Screen. Oh, yeah, sorry, uh, I have, I didn't have my video capture device ready. Hold on. Display capture uh, for the primary display. Sorry, everybody. I realize I probably sound <laughs> You know how insane. much I've been wanting to show receipts for this, dude. You know how much we've wanted to talk about this. Oh, oh my god. god. Yeah. Finally. Finally. Okay, so here is Cherry's DMs completely nuked. Here are the messages where I said, LMAO, all good. I hope you're well. For context, Cherry and I had not been interacting all that much, right? And be, we hadn't been interacting much because of that whole situation I told you about where Cherry did the exact same thing they're trying to claim Xander is an abuser for towards me. Uh, spam DM me. I would love to show you receipts. Cherry literally deleted their, their, their account the next day. Xander, remember whenever I came into your room and I showed you how they had texted me and how they had like a mental breakdown on me in the middle of the night? Cherry, I think Cherry got a new phone, so I'm guessing as they probably deactivated that number. Um, to be clear, like I, I know that one of the allegations has to do with paying cherry um i haven't really talked in detail about this stuff uh, 
on my stream because I don't want to give it like the dedicated attention, but here's like the perfect middle ground of I can talk to like the dedicated audience that wants to hear what's going on and see the receipts and not have to deal with the bullshit. And it's mm -hmm. not on my stream. So I'm not just like blowing up the drama for no reason. The people who care can hear what actually happened. Exactly. So obviously we, we could theoretically end it on like, well, why the fuck did Cherry nuke all their DMs between me, Ethan, and probably at this point, Balthazar, though those were saved because uh, Balth messaged me when they blew up on them out of nowhere. Um, and that's why I, uh, I, I don't want to end there, though, because there's a lot more to talk about. Oh, yeah. And I, I don't want to, like, blow up Cherry. I know Cherry has no care for me and seems willing oh. to try and, like, maliciously go after me, but Cherry's not a public figure. And, like, just... Yeah, I, I, I think at this good, at this point, if friends. Cherry is attempting to come after your livelihood and whatnot, you got to stop covering. For context on everyone here, the reason... Oh, DM discovered the scream. Hey, Demon Mama, speak to me, you lying motherfucker. You've said just about nothing this entire time. You've hidden behind theatrics and drawing out your point. Everything that Cherry has done or everything you're accusing Xander of is matched. And Cherry has done far worse, and you know it. I have all of the receipts from the Keffel ship. Whatever you're doing... Cut this shit. Get me on there. Yeah, why would she let us on? Like, I think... Well, uh, she didn't want to have a stupid interaction with you. Oh, and he's stupid still interaction. trying to blame Let's see. Let's, see. Over Cherry's head. Let's see if she'll have it. For yeah. his channel, his income. This is his You're not going to get me to bite Cherry the bait of, of making She won't do it. Oh, she won't do it. You, you but I will, dis I will disseminate... The receipts and the evidence that you're lying, and not only that, but Cherry is themselves malicious, and I've... Honestly, I should be given shit for covering for Cherry, um, but, you know, keep on milking it. I'm glad to see that I'm, uh, that I'm generating so many views. I can see that I'm becoming a real YouTuber. God. So silly. I don't know if she's still watching anymore. But regardless, um, to basically get they, they, uh, a they little deeper... Oh, these people are so cowardly. These, these people are so cowardly. So I, I want to run something by you really quickly before we speak anymore. Do I have full permission to talk about the things that Cherry covered for uh, and things that have not been brought up with the Keffel's drama yet that we have receipts for? Because I have them pulled up currently. I saved all of them. Sure. All right. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and run through this really quickly. So do, do you guys, does everyone remember the Keffel's drama and what happened? So the TLDR of it was originally it was personal drama between Xander and Keffel's, okay? And with Xander and Keffel's, what ended up happening was that Keffel's was being buddy-buddy with Shu, who pedo-jacketed Xander. If you want to disagree with me that she didn't, go ahead and watch my President Sunday debate. Absolutely ream that man. He was crying by the end of it. Anyways, point is... Uh, Xander was upset by this, and he feels pretty betrayed by someone he considered a friend. Cherry then gets fired by Keffels from her job. Cherry no longer had a job with Keffels because Cherry worked with Xander. Cherry, becoming frustrated, comes to Xander with a ton of information about this, right? Tons of it. Uh, information pertaining to things such as mocking rape victims, the fact that she did pocket the 100k, the fact that she runs private doxing situations, the fact that Cherry was aware of all of this and silent. And whenever Cherry told all of this to Xander, she began saying, oh, well, I'm worried Keffels will go after me. And I was like, that's a pretty reasonable thing to, you know, be worried about. That's a pretty reasonable thing. If Cherry could be victimized by Keffels. We have to be careful about how we talk about this. We can't let everyone know that Cherry had, you know, leaked the Keffels stuff because then Cherry's in danger. We shouldn't do that, right? Uh, and I'll get to the... the well, there's also the concern the that Cherry knew this, like, really bad stuff Keffels had done and was continuing to work for Keffels and be friendly exactly. with her and cover it up. So, like, telling me this was also nerve-wracking for Cherry because if I out it and it gets out of that Cherry is the one that knew this then it looks like Cherry, you know, there's some implications on Cherry for having known what Keffels was up to this whole time. Yeah, and on, on top of that, right, um, so we, we had a bit of a conundrum, Xander. We were like, do we, like, like, what do we think about this? Do we respect Cherry's wishes and try to keep them safe? Like, they did come forward. If our issues were that they didn't come forward about this problem before, um, but they did now, you know, that's punishing them for doing the right thing or that kind of thing, we should, we should protect them, right? That, that seemed reasonable at the time. Yeah. That was like when we assumed Cherry was normal. Um, at the time, at the time, Cherry was uh, bitter at Keffels, if I recall correctly, because Keffels had what Cherry interpreted as fired them on stream. 
Mm -hmm. And that had Cherry like very angry and ready to tell me all of Kethel's dirt. And when that anger went away, much in like, I wonder if the, a similar situation has happened here where it's like being vindictive towards somebody because you've had like a temporary like bout of anger towards them. Um, but Cherry tells me this stuff, only the things about Kethel's are actually true. And provides me with some receipts for these things as well. Here Not everything, but a few of these I things. So I don't know how oh. much of this oh, you're is going through the original. I'm going through the original. I have it. I, ha I, I saved it. Note? Yes, it is. I saved it. So remember this Holy nuke shit, Xander yeah. talked about forever that he wanted to release? Well, why do you think we didn't release it? It wasn't to protect Cherry, like we originally were going to not release it. It was because whenever things had become so insurmountably important that Xander needed to release this to protect himself because he lost 10,000 subscribers, White Nervosa said she was going to drop his website if he came out with it, and they treated it as if this was to protect Cherry. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Cherry was never in danger and was not in danger. Cherry was playing it up to, Cherry was playing it up to avoid any kind of... Uh, uh, um, accountability for what they had been covering up, right? Um, and on top of this, right, here is an example of Keffel's DMing Cherry uh, a dox, right? Uh, Kiwi Farms doesn't have this. Keffel's did it herself. Keffel's would regularly dox people just like Kiwi Farms did and share it around in private circles and it would eventually disseminate into general public knowledge, right? And Cherry knew about this. And the only reason Cherry came to us about this was because Cherry was being vindictive towards Keffel's after Keffel's had backstabbed Cherry. So we can go forward, uh, obviously. Um, do, 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 um, Sorry, some of this isn't even all that relevant now. Uh, do, 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 yeah, do, a lot do. of this is about the Keffel stuff, but you should just generally... Here's an example of, like, Keffel's just talking to Cherry about turning on people and stuff. Like, they... Cherry was very duplicitous and always suggested that we turn on people. Um, mm -hmm. And so there's, there's, there's a trend of that. Um, really, the thing that Cherry did that was the most problematic was the telling me the information about Keffels that uh, was like, it was so damning. And like, at that point, I was acting with that information. So like the drama went from me having like a personal disagreement with her to me knowing that she's like just this awful person behind the scenes. Like, it's not just that she and I have a disagreement. Now I know she's scamming people. Now I know that the HRT that she was um, recommending to people was actually unsafe and that there were trans men getting um, their, uh, or trans boys men, uh, like getting their, uh, their shipments of TRT vials and they had hairs in them, finding out that she's a doxer, finding out that she like laughs and likes to see content and rape victims. These were all things that like I was acting with the knowledge of, which led me to looking unhinged when I'd talk about her on stream in some cases. And that was a lot of the fuel that fed the fire. Hey, so and in the meantime, I'm begging to release this real quick, stuff. And JJ, JJ Monahan, JJ yeah. Monahan, if Kethels is a piece of shit and you're not arguing then that, what is a person who covered for Keffels for, like, for at least months? I want to say she worked for over a year for Keffels. I, I don't know the specifics. Covered for Keffels for a long time, holding this information, and only came out with it, gave it to us, and then told us we weren't allowed to do anything with it. If we are somehow damned for this, right, then how is Cherry not as well? And on top of Xander having a breakdown on Cherry, Cherry would do this constantly. If I come to you and I break into your DMs and spam your phone and you're dependent on me for your income, and I'm constantly forcing you to do emotional labor to take care of me, right? And then I come and I say, hey man, you know, when you blew up at me after I had failed you in a part to do with your finances that could lead to you going homeless, when you blew up on me, that was abusive. When Cherry would do this for things like not getting attention at 1 a.m., Cherry would go out of her way to DM Xander's friends, such as me, right, and try to wake him up in his home physically to try to get his attention. And like I said, Cher this is so bad that Cherry went through and deleted all DMs with everybody. We can't even show receipts because Cherry doesn't want there to be receipts. Which side do you think is wrong? The one that is lying and hiding shit or the one that is trying to show receipts and being denied it? If you at this point have any trust in Cherry, you do not want the truth. You want to believe your biases. I feel like um, the deleting the receipts is pretty obvious. So. I feel like what people probably have the biggest uh, uh, like problem with is the framing of like my DMs out of context. 
there's a very good reason why like Cherry deleted their messages. It's not just so we can't find uh, receipts to like prove any of our points. It's also to eliminate the context of our conversations. So when she shows those screenshots, it pro I don't I'm not watching her stream because I'm not interested in fan fiction. It's not my thing. But um, when what I'm imagining is like any moment where we had an argument, like I'm trying to remember every moment we had an argument or I, I know that one I saw one clip and that's the clip of her going over when I was just blowing up Cherry's messages to get a response because I needed them to forward me that file. Um, I wasn't getting a response from anyone else either, so I needed it from Cherry. Uh, someone else could have provided it. It wasn't just Cherry that I was relying on. Cherry was just the only one with access to it that was online at the time and was like close to responding because their little thing was lit up and I knew that I was blinging their computer every time. And yes, they did do that where we were hanging out together and you woke me up in the morning. Ch Cherry's and character you me your has, phone hold on real quick. Cherry... Ch someone said Cherry's character has nothing to do with not paying them. You offered to pay Cherry continuously. The times in which you said you would not pay Cherry are times in which the channel would die, such as what was shown on the stream in which you would hypothetically go homeless. How you're expected to pay Cherry when they led to a situation in which you go homeless, I don't know. And then, what, what, what is the accusation? Is it that Xander didn't pay Cherry? Look, like I can, I can respond to this way better, because I, I know the situation more, but like you, you are now my editor, so you can kind of attest oh, yeah. on your own end. Okay, like, so do you, get, but, do, you guys, do you guys want but, some context of how Xander pays? Uh, this month, I I had to drive cross country and I also had 10 guy, 10 days with no power. I could not edit for Xander. I still got out some juicers and we got best views we've had in months on this month, but I wasn't able to do as much work as normal. Xander paid me on time what I was owed consistently. Okay. And also Cherry is on stream or, or Cherry is telling Demon Mama on stream that they ran everything. And while that is technically true, do you all want to see the extent of what running everything means for a Xander Hall stream? It's really simple. Okay. We go to Premiere Pro. All right. Let's open up. Premiere Pro. Do you guys want to see the work that has to go into editing a Xander Hall video? It is not a lot of work. 1500 is a very fair rate for that, and I'll show you fucking why. Okay? I'm going to show you what Cherry did. Cherry trained me on this job. If Cherry's going to claim they were being underpaid, they're a fucking liar. Okay, you want to see the extent of the work? We open up a template. This template is the same every single time, okay? We delete whatever the most recent video is, okay? We open up. Um, oh, it is. We we open up a video, right? Let's say, oh, I I haven't done our third upload today, so I'll go ahead and do our third upload right now. Okay, so I don't even look at the video at all. I throw it onto the timeline. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in without needing to play the video at all. I can trim the intro because I know what it looks like. I can set it to where it needs to be. I pull this out. I set the the outro to where it needs to be. Pull this out. Pull this here. Zoom in. Set the opacity to fade out at the end. Just one second. Set the opacity to fade out on the last frame. The last frame is the longest step in this whole thing. Goes to zero, right? Then I scan this and I try to see if there's any segments where Xander doesn't talk. Because that happens sometimes when he has to search. Seems like there aren't. Then I go to export and I type whatever the title is. And that is the video. That is there's the video. That is time. A, Rendering time is what makes it take forever, right? But that is, I do that three times a day. That is my job. Yeah. That is, I mean, that is... like, I, I pay very well, especially considering that Cherry, I need to remind you all, um, and I could, the, the thing is, I can probably provide uh, screenshots that are just, like, my responses to these things, but I don't know how well that, that illustrates it. Is there a way to, like, zoom all the way to the top of your uh, messages with somebody on Discord? Like, um, in the very beginning, like, instantly? You could uh, search by date and then oldest. Anyways, point is... Okay. The longest part of the of oh, the I editing. I wanted to add more context. Oh, okay. Well, sure. I, I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the editing process is very simple, fair, fair. But you know, it, it could take more time for others, and you know, it, I can see how other people could pick holes in that. The fact is that when Cherry first started working for me, um, I was currently dealing with a birthday present from YouTube being a YouTube strike, and my channel was in a bad place. Like it was not looking good. And I had Cherry multiple times a day at that point messaging me. And I, I just kind of saw their messages and was like, oh, there's someone messaging me. And they were offering me like a position for editing, like to, to edit for me. 
And I could not afford an editor at that time more than, than ever. Like, I was not in a good place financially. That was very much deep into my relationship with Lonnie when I didn't know I was having money taken out from under me constantly. And so I messaged Cherry back eventually and, uh, you know, responded to their asking to be an editor with like, hey, I, I just, I can't pay for that. I'm sorry. At least not, like, for a while. Maybe in the future. And they were like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm fine with editing for you for free. I want to edit for like big institutions and organizations, maybe news organizations and stuff in the future. And I need something on my resume. I consider this like college volunteer hours because Cherry was in college at the time. And I was like, um, okay. I mean, I, I'm, I'm definitely going to pay you though. And as soon as I can pay you, we're, I'm, I'm going to try to pay you back everything that, that I owe from the time you're working for me when I can't. And they're like, all good. And we quickly became pretty good friends. Uh, they definitely had problems, like uh, Ethan mentioned before, like they definitely had their sh fair share of uh, mental breakdowns and stuff when things got stressful. But I have those too sometimes. Like we are both autistic, and if you're autistic, you know that like when shit starts to go bad or things even seem like they could be going bad, it's hard to fight your brain from assuming the worst case scenario and sending you into panic mode with a physical reaction. And so... Um, like Cherry having those problems, yeah, I, I never really, I, I didn't have too big of an issue with it. We remained friends and had a good working relationship. And once the channel started making money, I started paying Cherry. Not only that, but I, I started paying Cherry what I think is pretty good for the amount of work they were doing. Um, it started out as 1200 and then once I was able to afford it, it went up to 1500 and we actually had an arrangement, and Cherry's lying if they say this isn't true. We had an arrangement for once the channel starts making 6k a month and more, we would split the income 50-50 from then on out. So let's say it gets up to 7k, we would split that 50-50, 8k, 50-50, so on and so forth, right? Because, you know, it's the channel and the donations, or not the donations, the ad revenue that Cherry is directly working on. They deserve at least half. Um, nowadays, though, uh, Ethan's getting that, that half once we hit 6k in ad revenue yeah. per month. Uh, but yeah, basically, uh, I started paying Cherry, everything was fine. In fact, I paid Cherry for things that weren't even part of their pay. In fact, at one point, they needed a surgery for their tooth. They had, like, I think an infected molar, I guess it cracked or something. And they were pretty constantly complaining about, uh, you know, pain in their tooth, which, you know, jaw pain hurts like hell, so I get it. And uh, they needed the surgery, and I think they needed like four or five hundred dollars for their end of things, somewhere in that ballpark. And I literally just gave that to them for the surgery. It wasn't a cut out of their pay. Real quick, to someone who's subjecting themselves to that long, drawn out drivel, that repetitive fucking nonsense, has she added anything of context at all outside of repeating the same clip and showing Xander having a breakdown because he could go homeless and Cherry was actually failing her friend? The same way that Cherry would constantly have on others, including me, who barely fucking knew her. Because that's a... It, that's a little weird. They're, they're just saying nothing. And then, meanwhile, yeah. we, can, we can sit here and we can show you how Cherry was covering for people who were doxing others, covering for people who were laughing at rape victims. Let me see if I can find the laughing at rape victims screenshot. Y'all want that for Keppels? Well, yeah, I, I imagine they do, but, like... At the end of the day, um, I'm not going to pretend like every interaction I've had with Cherry is like perfectly like, uh, like handsome and remarkable, but like to try and claim that like it was an abusive relationship of any kind is pretty ridiculous, especially when we were just perfectly chill, like talking the other day. And it's the second that Demon Mama puts out her first uh, drama stream is when uh, Cherry like blocks me and then starts claiming this uh the fact of it is that cherry has always been a really big demon mama fan and like was always super hyped about me like doing anything with demon mama it was encouraging of the podcast we were going to do together it was cherry's idea um they really like demon mama and Here's demon mama decided that this was going to be a smear campaign when vosh decided he didn't like me anymore and after that point, Cherry decided that I'm going to dump Zan, I'm going to reframe our entire friendship and working relationship into the most negative way I possibly can, and I'm going to try to, like, nuke his channel. Yeah, and, and on top of that, if we look at her subs, uh, actually, they were so low, um, 
they were so low that uh what's it called it's not actually showing them she had gained 15 subs this month starts the xander's drama gains 100 do you guys know how she began this quote-unquote nuke stream saying shit like like the stream if y'all want the truth and drawing it out for 30 minutes this is clearly just fucking drama farming the thing they're trying to accuse xander of the one who barely wants to talk about this on all the one who i had to push into letting me get onto this stream to talk about shit that's been pissing me off because it's involved me like, they're trying to accuse him of drumming farming. Anyways, for context on the things that, that Kef, uh, Cherry was covering Keffels for, here is a, a clip of Keffels saying, Being a drama creator is so f uh, fucking with my head so much. I see Lily Orchard molested her little sister, and the first thing that comes to my mind is banger content, said to a group chat of friends. Cherry was aware of these things, was aware Cherry of this constant con chat. I know Cherry wasn't in this chat. Cherry was holding on to this information. I know she was wasn't. Group chat. She was in that group chat? I thought she yes. wasn't. Oh my god. That's how Cherry has the screenshot, obviously. Hey, Xander, do you think you could go find the uh, uh, PayPal receipt of you paying for Cherry's truth, uh, tooth treatment? Because uh, Cherry is claiming you did not. Wait, really? Okay. Yeah. So we're, we're, getting, we're getting real, real slimy. Okay. Wow, that's a... Uh... It should still show up even if they, like, delete their PayPal, right? Uh, yes, it should, I think. At least on your end of transactions. Right. It would have been a while back. Anyways, um... Is it time for another one of those, like, uh, that edit I did with the Lonnie thing, where it's the... Da -na -na, da -na -na, da -na -na, <laughs> scrolling through my payments. So, so Cherry, Cherry is in group chats like this, where people are, uh, like, Keffels is mocking rape victims. She's in DMs with Keffels, where Keffels is sharing doxes. And Cherry covered all of this until Keffels fucked Cherry over, then comes to us with this information, tells us this information, says we can do nothing with it, however, and then has White Nervosa... Uh, I wouldn't say blackmail, because blackmail implies Xander did something bad. But White Nervosa threatens Xander's income fair, by saying she would White destroy Nervosa's his website. I, mm -hmm. To be fair, from White Nervosa's perspective, uh, Cherry could be manipulating them. Like, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past that. Because, like, from White Nervosa's perspective, if they believe what Cherry is claiming, then it's pretty fair to have that reaction of, like, oh, this guy's, like, ab abusive and, 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 and wants Cherry to drop because cherry's tried to push this idea before and threatened to push this idea before when i wanted to come out with what they told me about keffels that has always been their sort of like cry bully fallback response like they they kind of they'll get really weird with me I, I i'm sure you can give some examples yeah. of how they would do this ethan so but you know how cherry would sometimes no, no 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 let me explain all good you know how cherry would sometimes um cherry would sometimes get really angry and worked up and i get that too but then when we'd respond or I, usually i'd respond uh trying to reassure or calm down cherry um sometimes they would get like very aggressive right and that that oftentimes led to some conflict uh but overall like cherry has a lot of problems themselves and that led to conflict between us but I don't really think we anything abusive happened. I don't even think Cherry was really abusive. I, th I think um, I if I we think want to have Cherry like freaking out on me, even was abusive. I think if we want to have the was... worst possible interpretation of the situation, shit got too heated between you two because Cherry could not regulate her emotions, and you would lash out occasionally when she would, you know, act fucking crazy towards you, which is just human and normal. And I think that you're giving Cherry a little bit too much leeway here because Cherry used to be your friend. And you've been too soft on Cherry yeah, this entire yeah, time, yeah. like, not talking. I'm sorry, man. This is fucking bullshit. Yeah. It's, it's fucking wrong that you're being slandered like this shit, man. Actually, hold on. You should censor that. Don't, don't show Cherry's real name. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. Holy shit. Did you show it? Uh, Cherry's real name? Uh, did, you, did you DM me the, uh, the PayPal? Yeah. You okay, okay. It, though, right? I didn't show it. I didn't show it. Okay, I I gotta cover up the the real name. Okay, you cover it up and then I'll show it. Yeah, I'm gonna so actually believe it or not, since Cherry stopped working for me, I've sent Cherry five hundred dollars. Yeah, that's crazy. Is that, is that, sorry, not five hundred, four hundred dollars. I, I counted an extra hundred. Um, but if you look at those dates, uh, Ethan at the top there, um, that is. Uh, you, I... Well, not on stream. Not on stream. Please, okay, please okay. not on stream. Hold, hold on, hold on. I know. I just wasn't sure if it was Careful. censored yet. That's why I asked. Careful. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Okay, so this is a payment to Cherry's real name, or legal name, not real name. 
a uh, hundred dollars on uh, January, February, March of this year. Three hundred dollars January this year. A hundred dollars December of last year. Mind you, Cherry stopped working. Uh, I want to say when they working, that that's December, when they stopped working. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's five hundred dollars since after Cherry has stopped working. To claim that Cherry wasn't getting paid is bullshit. Like bullshit in its entirety. Um, if you want to cut that and just like censor the name, uh, their name that's there under name section, you can just show it on stream. You let can me show the whole line. Let me let me turn off my display real quick. And I'm gonna I'm gonna open up uh, Paint and I'm gonna or Photoshop and yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna hide hide it. Sorry, I listen. As much as a piece of shit Cherry is, I really don't want to show their legal name. That's fucked. Cherry talks and Cherry. Cherry's not a public figure. It's why a big part of that is like I still got like a little bit of uh you know a little bit of of kindness in my heart for Cherry. So it's hard to like. It feels wrong to talk about things that Cherry has begged me not to talk about publicly, a lot of them being things that make Cherry look bad, and a lot of things that Cherry is now reversing around to try to use to make me look bad. So to defend myself, I feel like I've got to talk about these things, but I'm not that kind of person. I don't like to do that kind of shit. It's just, like, when the Lonnie stuff happened, I had to, like, delve into personal details to prove that I wasn't in the wrong there, and as much as I was able to prove my innocence, it's just... Cherry has been by me through all these things and knows how much it stresses me out, even when I'm completely in the right to deal with this shit, that I have to dig through receipts, which is a big... Cherry knows about my receipts, so they, they deleted theirs. Um, but, uh, like, they know how, how much it's, like, a pain in the ass for me and how much I'd rather just focus on making content and, and being a YouTuber and just chilling. And that's why they know, like, how to go after me, which is just reverse the shit that they've done to me uh, back on to me, uh, in accusations, delete all, uh, evidence, so I can't provide screenshots or receipts, because they know how much I love to do that, and, um, just kind of play the victim, as they've always done. They love just having these little victim sessions. Anyway. All right. Um, you want to censor that, Ethan? You can show it. And that's oh, I've already got it. I, I've got it on, on stream screen. censored. Right, cool. mm -hmm. It's just here. I mean, here it is, everybody. Here is... Cherry being paid well after they had quit five hundred dollars since then. Like, there's, they're just there's lying. Even more going back. Yeah, there's payments going. In some going... cases, I had to pay Cherry uh, smaller installments because I can't pay Cherry money that I don't have. Like, you know, I paid Cherry a living wage despite for, not really needing if, it. If you, uh, if you, for their so story, DM DM earlier I, actually lied about you, and I want to defend you here because I I know you're not aware of what she's been saying on stream. She said that you made plenty of money during this, and that you did not have hardships because you had all these different sources of revenue. Everyone, I want you guys to show. <laughs> uh, I'm going to show you guys what the revenue under Cherry's management of the channel actually looked like. There would be times, and this was when it was especially bad, right? Uh, this was after the Keffel's drama, right? Where these the, there were these dips. Uh, I actually have to go back more than 365 days because I've been working for you for eight months. Holy shit. Uh, is there a way I can see 2023, okay? There would be times in which Cherry could not do triple uploads and Xander would ad average about 900 video, 900, 9,000 views to 12,000 views. Um, we're supposed to get roughly 40,000 to be on track to make the money we need to be able to pay for things to just break even, you know? Um, so Cherry would regularly miss uploads with absolutely no warning to Xander, and then they wouldn't have enough money, and Xander would scrape by. If you think Xander is making oogles of money, he's made about 53000 estimated revenue from YouTube a year. And if you think stream donos account for all that much, I implore you to go watch the dono bar on the average Xander stream. He's lucky if it goes above, like, 20 on streams, right? And people don't donate. I mean, it, it, it gets, it gets, it gets up sometimes. It gets over yeah, it's, like, it's, you know, sometimes you're balling. I'm, I'm the, I, to be serious here, I guess I'll, I'll get a little personal here, and I imagine people that are being really bad faith will be like, ah, just get, the, get it over with or whatever, but, um, you know, I'm just going to be real with people. Um, I really fucking hate owing people money. Um, I have what I, I've always dubbed Walter White Syndrome, in fact, uh, Vosh, when I was living with my mom and our living situation was not great, like me and my mom's relationship was really oh bad my God. from a young age. But uh, yeah, basically, um, w when I was trying to save up money to get out of that situation and move so to California, um, hold on, uh, and move to California, I was offered four grand, uh, like four grand or more, at least four grand, I think, by Vosh, and I couldn't accept it. Like, I, I have like a really... I just can't do that. And so when it comes to owing someone money because they did something for me, I insist no, real on quick, paying. Boss, we we got we got to move to it. Okay, so do you remember 
Okay, I'm going to share something private of yours because I don't think you're going to share it, but I think you need to, okay? So there was a period of time around the Keffels thing where Xander's... Xander, remember when your mother was forcing her way back into your life and treating you just downright horrific? Uh, and this happened around the time... I want to say around the time the Keffel shit happened. Um, and you started spiraling. There was a thing in which you fed posted to Cherry in private having a mental breakdown. Uh, you said... Um, you wish to harm another creator. I'm not going to say the words to not potentially get the channel taken down. Pretty awful, right? Um, however, at the same time, this is a person who laughed at rape victims. This is a person who doxed. This is a person who was lying about Xander trying to destroy his uh, fucking, like, like career. Like, I, I don't... I'm going to be real with you all. If you think Xander is a bad person for having a mental health breakdown because someone was trying to destroy his career and that someone was a person who would laugh at rape victims, who would dox others, who would pocket hundreds of thousands of dollars that were supposed to be going towards pushing back against police, police brutality. If you're really going to try to DM Xander for having a mental breakdown and saying he wished to harm that person, I don't think you're a serious leftist. I'm going to be so real. I'm going to be completely oh, no, honest be with you. To be clear, by the way, I fucking rage post about people that are awful all the fucking time. Like, if you watch my stream, on, on stream I make jokes about how, like, creatively I make jokes about how people that are bad should die. Um, you know, in Minecraft, in Minecraft, you know. In, I, I, in I just, I think it's very um, funny that we've been pushed into, context, sorry. Add context to this, though. Um, Cherry, at this point, was keeping me from dropping this nuke that I had been teasing. So not only am I getting, like, ran through by like the entire online left at that time because Keffels has so much goodwill in that space. But um, on top of that, Cherry has all of the stuff that I need in order to absolve myself of looking like the asshole because it puts everything into very good context, everything Cherry told me. Obviously all that stuff's out, well not all of it, but a lot of that stuff's out now and you know, Keffels got destroyed, you know? Yeah. But regardless, um, I, I wanted to get that stuff out and watching as I'm getting getting just constant shit, a lot of it from people that genuinely watch me and like my content and think that I've, like, Meanwhile, gone horrible against Kethels. Wait, wait, let me, let me finish. Go on. I, I gotta, you know, I'm finally getting to talk about this. I'm, I'm like, good, I'm all venting good. it all out. You know, it's like letting a fucking valve go. Um, so on top of that, um, like, what else can I do realistically? Um, like, besides just rant to Cherry about how shitty the situation is. Because they were still, you know, kind of playing like they were, you know, my friend and stuff, despite not letting me release this info they knew about Keffels. And I was just like, okay, well, I mean, if as long as we're still cool, I guess I'll just kind of, you know, just kind of rage post about it. I don't really see how that's bad. Um, also, Keffels is like an awful person. I don't. Yeah, really I, I'm, I'm going to be real. If you guys, are, if you guys want to try to condemn Xander for saying what he did in private while having a mental breakdown during one of the lowest points of his life about a person who who is who she is, who has done the horrific things she do is, I don't think you're actually you actually believe anything you do. Uh, I if if someone came up to you and they said, "Man, I really I really wish insert like right wing politician who did something shitty like like blew up in a plane." You wouldn't think them crazy, or you, you wouldn't think them crazy if they said, I would, I would fucking drive a car into their home, right? Like, leftists say this shit constantly, and it's not, it's not civil, it's not, like, the moral thing or whatever the fuck, but be serious with me, okay? I'm not going to play this stupid drama game in which we need to pretend as though we're all these virtuous fucking angels, we're human beings. Xander said that he wished to harm a creator who laughed at rape victims, who doxes people, who was trying to destroy his livelihood during one of the lowest points of his life. God forbid he have negative thoughts that he shares to one of his friends in private about a awful fucking creator. And if you want to defend Keffels, I implore any one of you motherfuckers to try me. There is no defense I mean, it of this. Me, it reminds me of like one of the classic like stories in streaming. Um, obviously, negative opinions towards this guy, but he, he's been around so long that a lot of those like OG streamer stories come from that sphere. But uh, Destiny was like just a StarCraft streamer back in the day, and there was this kid who hated him in StarCraft that uh, would pay to script kitty his stream down, like DDoS it, and knock his stream out every day. And Destiny like did everything in his power that he could to stop this kid from DDoSing him, and he was losing like tons of money, tons of his income, his livelihood was threatened. And uh, Destiny had said in a DM that uh, he, he he had actually, like, written out an entire plan to, like, get his gun, drive, and, like, 
uh, like find the dad and like it was like a whole detailed assassination plan um but like you know it was just him venting ranting you know it, like when someone's threatening your livelihood and they're also a horrible person and framing framing it as otherwise to attack you yeah you're, you're gonna say some pretty fucking spicy stuff anyone who says otherwise is pretending i feel like at that point though anybody who's really put off by something like that or I, i'm teetering on the edge of like if you are so uncharitable that you interpret this stuff with the like knowledge that we have with cherry nuking all like evidence and everything if you're willing to be uncharitable enough to interpret me as still like a bad person or whatever i can't really stop you because it doesn't really seem like it doesn't really seem like you want me to not be an abuser or whatever but i mean like if i was an abuser cherry could have just dropped me cherry worked for progressive victory and not only that, uh, worked as an editor for Progressive Victory and got let go because they couldn't meet upload quotas, just like they couldn't with me. I kept them on. Cherry quit from me because I was so insistent on them letting me release the Keffel's nuke. Um, and they said it was too much pressure. And I was like, okay, okay. I mean, if you want to be friendly, we can. Doors open to you to rejoin and become an editor again. I'd be fine to have you and Ethan be editors if I could afford it. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, they just kind of... This kind of went a little nutty on me because they their favorite YouTuber is Demon Mama and they they want to help Demon Mama farm the shit out of my downfall because a lot of people want to be able to make their mark online. Cherry is one of those people and uh Cherry thinks this can be their way of making their mark online and getting closer to a community they're really fond of. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to post the screenshots and your announcements uh because uh, it's just good to have the information out. I'm going to let people have the screenshots, you know? Why not? Uh, let me bring... Um... Larry Banks, to be very clear, I match people's energy. So the way that me and Cherry communicated was very reciprocated. So if you think that the way that I talked with Cherry and the completely nuked their responses DMs, uh, if you think that's a problem, then I only wish you could see how Cherry responded back. Because that's just how we talked sometimes. Sometimes Cherry just spammed me with, like, Zan, I'm going to kill you. Why did you say so-and-so on stream? And it's just a meme. Um, so you can frame anything out of context how you like, especially if it's a conversation that happened while on a call. And uh, me and Cherry have been friends for years now. You would think that they would have indicated, like, a, a problem, or even come to me about how it was a problem if it was uh, real. Like, this is not an honest, like, I'm coming forward about what I went through type thing. Uh, hold on. Oh, I just realized I don't have my fucking shit fit to screen, because this is the new computer. Sorry, guys. I'm currently uh, posting screenshots and whatnot. Yeah, I don't really know if I have much else to, to say. I mean, it's really. just... Like, I, it's I, just... I don't I, watch <laughs> Not Keffels. I haven't watched uh, Demon Mama's uh, coverage of me because, like I said, I'm not interested in seeing someone just vitriolically lie about me to try and, like, farm benefit for themselves. It's the same thing as what happened with Keffels. I let myself get really down in the dumps over the Keffels stuff, particularly because at the time, um, I don't want to get super into health stuff, but uh, my mom's do going through some health things and she's visiting me for both for my birthday and to get some minor surgery. It's nothing super serious, but it's got her acting weird. And uh, due to that, she's uh, she's kind of not lately, but back when she was visiting during the Keffels drama, she reverted back to some of her older behavior um, that that's not very likable, to say the least, and especially less likable when you're an adult man in your own house and you have to deal with it. And uh, it was stressing me the hell out. So I was definitely a, a bit on edge during all of that. And I just let the Keffel stuff get to me a lot. And I feel like this time around, I'm I'm far more prepared for getting lied about and slandered. Uh, I mean, I've gone through this several times before, famously, but uh, I feel like I've kind of gotten inoculated to it a lot more at this point. Because I remember last time this happened, like with Keffel's drama, at this point I would have been like, oh, like freaking out, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I would, I would absolutely love to see. Demon Mama hasn't shown much on stream. The TLDR of what she's shown was you having a breakdown on Cherry because of the money situation, uh, which is something Cherry regularly did to you, has done to me. Uh, it went and deleted her messages yeah. to avoid oh. it being shown. 
breaking down about money was Cherry's like weekly routine. Yeah, exactly. So then to couple that with, uh, she then shows you saying that you wish to harm Keffels. Obviously, you said more than that, but I can't say that verbally because of YouTube reasons, right? Um, which I honestly do not think is the most unreasonable thing for a person to say in private to their friend during a mental breakdown about a person who, once again, really going to fucking hammer this home, mocked rape victims, doxes people in private, and were attacking your livelihood. Even, Very fucking that normal. That wasn't even a mental breakdown. That was just me fucking, that was just me fucking venting angrily. Like, if, if you've ever, like, I, to be clear here, to be very, very clear here, if you think that, like, venting angrily and being like, oh, I hope this motherfucker dies, I, I, like, in Minecraft, like, if you think that's, uh, like, unreasonable, doing that in private with a friend about someone who's, like, an awful person, and I don't think many people uh, disagree at this point that aren't already, like, very lost. Uh, I don't think many people disagree that Keffels is an awful person and what she did was awful. Um... So yeah, I, yeah. I just I they're speaking but, about uh, me in the chat. I I really hope that Keffels is ang or, in Minecraft. What's it called? Like if you think that okay, they got the stream. <laughs> hey DM, just just DM, just bring me on. I really want to hear about how you're going to defend um, Xander lashing out about a situation involving a doxer, a mocker of rape victims, and a person who is trying to destroy his livelihood. It wasn't as if he was making these threats to that person or in public. It was obviously not oh, looking great. To be clear, to be clear. Keffels also, or D Demon Mama also knew that Keffels was scamming the 100 Oh, game. Demon Mama like, was Demon aware Mama of all this? Boxing, all this shit. I, I sent all these screenshots to Demon Mama, and I told her about all this in call, and she was encouraging me not to release it, because if I did so, it would be a violation of Cherry's privacy. So th this shit is good. This, this shit goes back. I, I, lo I love how um, o only only with someone like Keffels can you see people defending someone like lashing out at a... a, a Oh my god, this is so silly. Let's see if Demon Mama is willing to even have a conversation. It goes back. Otherwise, it's no point in like, I, I love, interacting I love how, with him. Um, only, only with someone like that's going to cause a lot of echo. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm just willing to talk about her. Oh, don't raid uh, Demon Mama's chat, by the way. I saw someone in the chat say Magic. Oh, I mean, there's no point to. I feel like they, I feel like they might. I, I don't think they're, uh, like, I, they might be from here, but I didn't see them in chat. Oh, I gotta, so I gotta turn on her earlier. Let's see if she says something. Don't, uh, all this shit. Obviously, there's not a lot of people, like, here Mama. compared to there, but, you know, there's a fair amount, so don't, don't, like, brigade anybody. Yeah. Certainly don't even want to give them the impression, right? See, they're not going to be willing to have a discussion, though. That's that's the issue. They can't control a narrative if they, they won't have a discussion. Like, is Demon Mama going to address why she's completely okay with, like like, all of this shit and was not willing to come out about it? It, she just won't. And I told her about. All I, I don't think there. Yeah, I mean, you should just show your interactions with Cherry on screen being deleted. I got um, Demon like Mama fans really uh, forgetting my stream. Hi, babes. Hi. Uh, sure hold. Cherry having deleted your interactions. That's that's the best thing. Yeah, I mean, I can show you Cherry literally deleting messages with me right now. You guys want to see it? Cherry is lying to you all and actively trying to cover it up here. Cherry has done all of this shit. And is trying to weaponize Xander having a breakdown on Cherry in private, in confidence with their friend. And you can say it's as unreasonable as you want for Xander to have said that, but I genuinely implore you to defend that. I will bring any one of you on into a conversation. Someone give me your Discord, I'll do it. I want to be very clear here, by the way. There is like an entire like clique of people behind the scenes um, that are like very friendly with each other that do this sort of like uh like rumor milling in group chats no, and shit no one cares about the and, chat she uh, had with you what chat I, what i actually hold on no no no. give me, give me a minute to, to second, talk sorry. here for just a second i'm gonna give some context because uh i actually got threatened by somebody you see when you're a content creator and you have any type of falling out with someone it can be over anything you have basically like a a way of saying oh i knew this person let me just claim some shit about them. Maybe you can even take messages out of context and like frame things a certain way, right? That's kind of the ideal. But um, uh, at one point, I was friends with somebody. I'm bringing something up very fast. I was friends with somebody who was very flirty with me. She was very, very flirty with me. And at one point, uh, she got a boyfriend, and I stopped talking to her as much, because that's kind of what you do uh, if someone that's being flirty with you and you're flirting back gets a boyfriend. And she saw that I wasn't really engaging with her as much, and she kind of, like, you know, messaged me asking, what's the deal? What happened? 
And uh, I replied saying like, well, you got a boyfriend and we're kind of flirty. I, I don't know if I want to talk to you like as much after that because it kind of feels weird. And she blocked me and, and claimed that I was weird. I was then messaged by somebody uh, on Twitter claiming that she was going around the different group chats, claiming that I was like a weirdo incel and like lying about me. I was like, huh, uh huh. And apparently she had done this to somebody else as well. And so I'm going to bring that message up and um, I'm going to send it to you, Ethan. I actually think I've already sent it to you before, actually. Let me see if I have. Uh, did I? No, I don't think I did. My bad. Let me, let me see. Who I, sent me this? Right. It would have been... Unless I blocked them, which I don't think I would have. That would be fucking insane. Box ...of Keppels, explicitly uh, saying do, 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 he's do, going do. to kill people Let me search them up Keppels, on Twitter. ...and then refusing to even acknowledge that. I didn't drop these yesterday. He oh, to be fair, they're friends with Cherry, saying, so they might have blocked me. Oh, yeah. But yeah, they, they messaged me friends. a little while ago, so you could friends. probably dig That's up the screenshot. But they were um, like. dating a, a guy, breakdown. and uh, this girl had and done the so same thing to them, and uh, like basically been flirty with the boyfriend, even though he was in a relationship, and it all kind of ended up being some drama. She messaged me like, hey, I heard she's it. doing this. She did this to my boyfriend. I figured you should know because I know she's like a liar. And I was like, okay, these hopefully that never ends up this. being drama. Oh, but Wait. I'm sure oh, one day it will be. And then she just Hold on. Pause, pause, Sander. Pause, Sander. Yeah. Vosh, or not Vosh. Uh, um, she's saying we can't watch or whatever. I'm just trying to let you speak while her audio plays. And she won't bring us on. We can't play her stream and speak at the same time. Bring us on, Demon Mama. I'll leave your stream unmuted, playing max volume. Bring me on, and let me force you to have to have a conversation about this. Because right now, all you want to do is do theatrics into a camera. Let's fucking talk. Like adults, be real. It says, this is pathetic. You refuse to listen to. I just listen. What do I have to listen to? What do I have True. to listen to here? Huh? Yeah, I'm trying to find that DM My I got sent, been because I'm pretty sure Cherry had a, There ain't nothing to say him, about me. So that I could not... Uh... Easily See, she won't. She won't talk on stream. To let it go. If he she won't talk on stream. Joke after he said a bunch of shit about people. My birthday That's boy stream weird. was just was just me roasting And then him and then you got people coming in from like uh, after he'd been taking what's it shots called? at me. What are you you got people about? coming in from her chat spamming the n word well named Clorox bleach a, in my chat. You're I just got rid of it. So. Kind of, uh, when are when are we gonna uh, when are, when are we gonna see anything where DM's willing to speak? She's claiming we won't. When are you gonna see DM? You said that we won't speak to you. We won't show what you're saying. I'm giving you an opportunity to have a discussion to be able to prove it directly to me right fucking now, and you won't do it. Come on. That wasn't from the DM community, you snake. Who else would it be? I am a 300 subscriber uh, but, nobody. Uh, do you think? Fair, regardless, nah, I, fair, I, it could be some random right wingers, sir. Sure, oh, sure. Yeah. Regardless, hey guys, regardless, we do have people in DMs chat saying things. Is genuinely a bad look. Hold on. Don't yeah, I mean, they're going to be very vitriolic. For a second. But... You, I mean, we also have people coming into DMs chat and saying shit like, oh, we should call police to their home and whatnot. Well, yeah, that's that's fair. But yeah. like, to, to be clear, there's like, I've basically upset a very tight clique of people that act like high schoolers and are willing to like burn anybody. That uh, that they that like pisses them off, right? And that's and what I've fine. done. I've pissed them off. And so they're shit. going to do everything in their power to try to go after me. The truth is, though, I mean, I'm gonna keep on that grind. For the most nuke? part, this Here's spear is uh, he it, it seems pretty insular. And um, while I definitely take seriously people who legitimately think that I'm like abusive because of this, um, I'll, I'll take like genuine concerns seriously, but I imagine December. there's just going to be a lot of people had not waiting been verified as well in and, and shit talking. So I'm just going to ignore those people and keep on Zach grind. He's not going to let us on stream this He wants this to get way. in a VC? And talk about what? And talk about what? What do you mean talk, talk about, about what? Talk what? what? What do you mean talk about what? The entire situation. Uh, like, how are you going to pretend that, like, you, like, not wanting to speak about this makes you correct?
Ooh, one second. Someone said he's saying he's making it. He said he's making it seem like people are trying to swat him. Like, I could literally show you a screenshot I got pinged with that was saying, leak Xan's IRL info and address anonymously if Xander and Ethan wants to play from one of her subs in her chat. I mean, it's not like I'm acting like she said that, or like her yeah, chat said that. That's know. happening in the so chat. Let me see here. What do they want here? Let's just listen yeah. in real quick. Well, I mean, Damn, I, this I is feel like I'm not I mean, um, expect there to be like a lot of shit talking about me. Cause, like, okay, so, so now she, hold on, Xander, hold on, Xander. She's actually watching the stream now. Um... Hey, Demon Mama, let's just talk about how it's a little weird. Oh, she's already paused it. There's, she's not even going to actually watch it. Coward behavior to not do this on Xander's channel. I went live and forced Xander in this confrontation because originally he didn't want to, like, like, dog on Cherry too hard. Legit, what's gotten into you? Literally nothing. That wasn't from the DM community, you snake? Who else would it be? I am a 300 subscriber nobody. Do you think... Why you would befriend someone named Demon Mama is also something you should reflect on Lamau? Sure, sure. Regardless, hey guys, regardless, there. we do have people. Okay. There's way too much audio uh, just leaking back and forth. That's why I had her muted, and she's gonna act like I'm not like yeah. fucking trying to show well, her half of things. I mean, I'm I'm giving I'm giving I'm now. giving her an opportunity. She can have me on and talk about this, but she's not going to. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep fucking spreading these screenshots that show she was aware that Keffels was mocking rape victims, doxing people, and being all around everything she claimed to hate, and she covered for that. And that's why you reacted the way you did in private, in confidence during one of the lower points of your life. Acting as if you were an abuser during that is psychotic fucking behavior from her. You were lashing out in private to a friend about a person who is ontologically fucking evil yeah she won't well, debate um i don't really expect her to i said someone call me a lolbertarian yeah totally man Why won't she do it? Like, just come, t come talk to me about this because I want to know how you can defend, like, like saying Xander's a bad person for wishing harm onto a person who has done the things Keppel has. Like, seriously, especially in confidence when she was directly attacking him and it was during a mental health episode. I'm not saying it's a good thing what he did, right? But I am saying that it makes sense why that would happen. To try to label him as some kind of like horrific freak, pretty, pretty low. Just because Keffels is evil doesn't justify extreme violence against her. Keep coping. You're correct. It doesn't justify it. However, do you think that's real extreme violence whenever he's talking to a friend and having a breakdown and saying that because she is actively trying to destroy his life? Do you think that's well, the same thing? Announcement, even, edit that announcement to see, like, Zan absolutely vented, like, just say vented, like, fantasizing or something. Because, like, I, I wasn't actually, obviously. Don't, don't, like, don't, don't, uh, don't, don't frame it that way. I don't, I don't want that cops called to my house. I'm not serious. Also, threatening extreme violence is not real. Like, vent venting about somebody that you hate. He made death threats, you brown nosed little weasel. Do you. I have a question. If someone no, makes death threats against someone mocking a rape victim, do you really care? Like, let's, let's say he did, because they weren't death threats, but let's say he did. Are we suddenly seeing the defense of, like, mocking rape victims all of a sudden because you guys like Keffels that fucking much? I don't think it's that they like Keffels. I think it's that the framing is that, uh, like, Cherry is, like, Cherry has a pretty high amount of goodwill. I've always, like, spoken very positively of them, as has, uh, uh, Dima they were, and stuff they like were, that. you don't threaten to violently beat someone to death. I... I think you got to take a close look at like literally everything that happened after the Trump shooting. Obviously, Keffels isn't as bad as Trump, but she mocked rape victims, pocketed 100K that was supposed to go up for police brutality, and doxed people. Like, I don't think saying something in private during a mental breakdown that is saying you wish violence on them is actually all that fucking bad. And you're more you're moral frogging it. It's it's you're not serious. You don't believe this. If someone on Twitter said that, ah, oh, someone laughed at uh, a, a rape victim. I hope they get hit by a car. You wouldn't think they're a bad person. You really wouldn't. You wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, like you, you are my current editor, and I feel like if I was abusive, you would probably Zans not be begging to come on to stream and be like, let me cut out this motherfucker. I've Keep dealt in mind, with Cherry the, for so long. The reason, really yeah, like the reason I'm on this stream is because Cherry's lying about shit she has done to me. Yeah. Like, it... 
the guy I pay is on my side. I have a. I, mean, I do not need fair, I, I do not need you. Xander's money. I do I, I do not need but Xander's money. I won't yeah, you, I won't go into why, but I do not need Xander's money. But okay. But also, but also, also to be clear though, uh, the accusation is that I did not pay my editor, <laughs> and I I very clearly pay my editors. Yeah, everything Keffel's saying is complete fucking bullshit to you guys. She's claiming she was not, uh, or not Keffel's, everything uh, Cherry's saying is complete bullshit. Claiming she's not being paid, here are the PayPal receipts, claiming that while Xander did have a breakdown on Keffel's about money because Xander was trying to be able to pay rent, Cherry would do this regularly and did it so much that they had to go back through and delete their DMs where they apologized to me for doing it to me. And I can bring this up right now. Um, all of the DMs with me are gone as well. Um, I said, LMA, you're good. I hope you're well. Because this was right after they had been training me on how to edit the job whenever it was swapping to me. They deleted all of their DMs. Innocent people do not delete all of their DMs with you. They don't. They do yeah, not wipe their DMs. Like remind you all, I'd like to remind you all, when I noticed that Cherry nuked all their DMs, or when Cherry blocked me with a message saying, I'm gonna fucking, I, I, we're done, we're, I could have gone and used the same program they used to nuke all of our messages, which would have eliminated literally all the messages being used out of context to make me look bad. I didn't do that because, frankly, I don't have anything to hide. I didn't do anything wrong, really. Like, I, I'd say that I wasn't perfectly well-behaved in some cases with, like, freaking out on Cherry over being gone, but, like, the second Cherry gets back, it's like, okay, you're back. You know, like, that's just me spamming messages at them. Um, and obviously I vented to Cherry, like, oh, I hate this person, I hope you they die. Oh, I did I like, save the chat? Are... How, how am I supposed to save chat she deleted? Yeah, regardless, though, the fact that I have remained to leave these up, and I'm going to continue to leave my messages up, I feel like kind of shows. The fact that Cherry's nuked their shit, and I haven't, and I won't do that, it kind of it kind of shows what's happening <laughs> here. I mean, we have all these deeply unseriously fu uh, unserious fucking people. They're just lying to each other, too. Like, I don't believe you I, care about someone being upset about, a, 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 like, threatening rape victim. Also, or, or, not even threatening. Like That's the wrong word. Mm. Threatening rape victim? What? I'm not um, rape anyway, victim. Right? The, um, rape, mocking a rape victim. Oh, I, I feel... Sorry, I'm going crazy because I have to repeat myself. This feels very fucking simple. Yeah. Yeah, I know. To be clear, by the way, the people that are screaming in the chat are all the same people that were freaking out at me during the Keffels thing. So to be completely honest with you, I, I don't really see this as being a big thing. Someone where says, are where are Cherry's DMs? DMs? They deleted them. We explained this to you. They uh, deleted their DMs with, with both me and Xander. Ethan, 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 if they're like, where are the DMs while you bring up the Discord with them and they've deleted all of them? Xander, can, like, you, can, oh, you do me a, can you do me a favor? Months, can you... Can you open a part of your DMs where Cherry de deleted them and send me a screenshot of that really quickly? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we can show yeah. you they deleted their DMs with Xander as well. Also, I want to send you another screenshot because this is the person who um, I, I spoke to a while ago and stopped being friends with, and they freaked out at me because I wasn't, like, down to, to be friends anymore after, like, they were being flirty with me and got a boyfriend, and now they're uh, sending me threatening messages, like, take that bot down. Um, so, yeah. Like, yeah. It, that's also part of that, like, clique. There's, like, a whole group of people that so me is calling out Vosh. We're at, watching. And we're they were listening like, we have to, to this. Let's this watch guy the spin in real that. time, shall we? Also, um, she let wants... me send the messages with Cherry. Cherry, uh, okay. Demon Mama. Demon Mama. Holy real quick. shit. Since you're watching now, I want to ask you. Saying why will you not just... During a mental breakdown that is saying you wish violence on them because if it's actually speak, all that you could tell bad. like and all the context more, and show screenshots and actions oh wow she she doesn't that. get the beginning of it frogging. yes hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on it is it is, hold on hold on she, Kef, she will real? not bring me on hold life? on I can show screenshots of her mocking Here, rape victims and docking. If docking someone people. on Twitter said that, ah, oh, someone laughed at uh, uh, a rape victim, I hope they get hit by a car, you, you wouldn't think delete, they're a bad uh, person. Some of the people you really would They're spamming slurs and stuff. Are they spamming slurs? You wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah you, gotta, you, you gotta moderate the chat a bit. My mod? Editor, and I feel like if I was abusive, oh, yeah, I can. I can't can be spam these people. <laughs> nice. I mean, she can neurotic laugh and whatnot, but, like, it's not gonna prove anything. Keep in mind, the, so long, yeah. the reason, yeah, yeah, the yeah reason she's like forever back. Hold on. Literally cannot conceive of a I, I don't think the slur posters are DM fans, to be fair, because like there's That's a lot of drama, kind of like anti fans straight. that stick don't around. Get it twisted. Um, but yeah, I mean, like 
overall, I feel like I've I've said my piece. Yeah, everything Keppel said uh, Cherry was pretty smart to nuke. Um, She's claiming she was not uh, uh, to, to, to nuke the uh, uh, receipts. To be fair, here are the papers. But um, the fact that they nuked them at all, I feel, well, is kind of the more suspicious thing. You admitted yourself that you didn't pay Cherry. What is, what is she what talking about? She's saying about? you didn't pay Cherry, we and then we show, we show, we show the, we, we showed the screenshots. That it would be Giga Chad for you to actually pay Cherry, even though you don't have to because she was mean to you and you're. No, no, you don't have to pay her for the time she wasn't working to you. What is DM talking about? There are, there are I, I mean, they're going to try and continuously. They're just, uh, just witness claim the that I owe Cherry money, which just isn't true. Like, if Cherry wanted me to give them money, they could have just, like, messaged me, Hey, Post Zan, could you toss me, like, a hundred right bucks when you get the chance? Emoji. But, like, yeah, Everybody's let me do one. that Post after, like, there, particularly. There, there's, there's, it's, listen, guys, you have two sides here. One that deletes all of their DMs with the people involved and won't speak to them, right. and the other one Cherry that is, like, tweaking the fuck out on stream, so right? They and because they're, they're being, like, slandered, and, oh, God, we're, we're like, upset, or we're... Uh, uh, talking I like fast? Keffles I don't know. Keffles does the like, well. I'm, I'm very, I, yeah, I think this is really wrong. Freaks. Why is he doing because this? Xander Hall has hold on, hold on, hold on. He's so evil. He's so wrong. How could he dare that defend himself? That would be himself. rational. This is kind of the vibe I'm getting you from this. You can't, you she, can't, yeah, even, you don't even have the beginnings. She's claiming that it's completely reasonable to delete everything. You guys were fucking nuts. You, ah, who you're I see. So it it makes sense that Cherry gets fucking uh, her account completely deleted and deletes all evidence because we're crazy. So she has to delete every message she ever sent to us where she was having those breakdowns. Of course, breakdowns. Cherry has a right to delete her entire yeah. account and disappear if she wants to. Particularly because God, like Cherry kind of just normalized that in her interactions and kind of having. We that do have parts of it. I said, LMA, you're good. I hope you're well. Far more, right uh, they had been training me far more on how one-sided, to edit the job you know what I mean? was swapping to me. They deleted all of their DMs. Innocent people do not delete all of their DMs with you. Anyway, they don't. I think that's about all they we do have not for wipe today. Their DMs. Um, yeah. I say we just go play some Valheim. I, I'm down to play some Valheim. I need to hold on. I just want to see if she'll bring up the the screenshots of what Ke uh, Cherry was covering for, because she hasn't shown that yet. She hasn't shown the laughing at rape victim shit. She's avoiding it heavy. Yeah, and the difference would be you have like nine different people. I don't think she will. I feel like we should just stop giving her content. Ago, told you you were being insane. Hold on. All of whom took. Like, what, what other claims are there going to be made that are worth dealing with? You have is also, yeah, you already showed the PayPal, well, like, uh, I bet, bet transactions Cherry with Cherry, and that's literally too. just, I bet, like, I bet I, if I could, like, the last I few months that we worked together was a total of, like, I counted up over what five is she talking grand. About? You're so far out of your depth. You are so cooked. She's not saying anything. Eliminated. She talks in circles a lot. Literally all the messages being used mm -hmm. out of context. And filling for time because, yeah. like, the views and the donations do kind of add to her I total watch time for the month. I didn't so the more views wrong. that she can, really, like, then she can why did stretch you this out it? as much hold as possible, second. you're Wait. giving her more viewers. Wait a second. Hold on, hold so on. We should just stop because we're, just we're yeah. giving her, uh, to just a few we're giving her what she wants, which is more, like, time that she can cover. So yeah, we've got the receipt and everybody who's good faith can, like, I'm gonna, if you, um... If you drop According out, I'm gonna to run to uh, I'm gonna cherry, run over everything that I showed really quickly so it's easily clippable um, and documentable, and um, out and can be shared out, around, and then we're good. No more than just Alrighty. Like, Sounds Alrighty. good to me. Talk to you in a minute. See ya. Extreme beration, one sided beration. Yeah. Uh, okay. So here here's the here's the rundown, guys. We have a situation in which Demon Mama is absolutely refusing to engage with anyone involved in the situation. Okay, and the allegations are as follows. Right. That's what she wants. You are delusional. Naomi Chance, I've seen nothing but dumb shit from you for the entire time I've, I've seen you online. I do not care. I'd be willing to have a discussion of you, with you and see you try to flail about and defend uh, the covering up of the mocking of rape victims and doxing, which seems, was literally the entirety of Keffel's like, like, uh, platform, and it's what Cherry was covering up, and it's the reason why things have gone the way they have. Uh, and Demon Mama was covering this up as well, right? I'd love to see you defend that, but you can't. Um... The TLDR of it is that Cherry was paid. What Xander was talking about of paying Cherry extra was the time in which Cherry wasn't working. So halfway through uh, um, the first month, right? Unmo uh, unmute the audio of Sam's stream, you cowards. Then the streams just both turn off and turn into like us uh, like echoing into each other. What do you want me to do? Like, do you, do you want us to just listen to each other's fucking audio reverb back and forth forever? That's silly. Um... 
this is proof he paid. He paid $500 well after they had quit, right? They had stopped working in December, and they'd done a little ac- extra, and they'd gotten paid extra. Zan- it's Xander Hall. It's not normal to vent about killing people. You need to understand that. I'm going to be real. I, I think it's a little silly, guys. Uh, if you have someone who you know is mocking a rape victim, if you have someone who you know pocketed $100,000 that was meant to go towards people who were fucking uh, uh, um, victims of uh, um, police brutality, if you have someone who you know doxes people and in confidence after that person tries to ruin your life, you say some Fed posting bullshit uh, to a friend with no intention of carrying it out, I don't actually think that's all that crazy. I think that's pretty normal for a person having a breakdown after being fucking harassed. No one is defending Keffels. Uh, yes, they are. Demon Mama and Cherry are. They covered for Keffels. Xander was blackmailed by White Nervosa so that he couldn't co- come out with this. And Keffels, uh, Keffels was defended by Cherry and Demon Mama in these actions because they said that's fine. So 20 videos in December, and she only got $300. He said he was paying Cherry $1,500 a month. Uh, 20 videos in December. I, did I not show you guys earlier how quickly I can edit these videos on top of that? And they, they weren't officially working, and they weren't supposed to be working on top of that. And the, it, there's a whole situation. I'll back pay it if Cherry really wants. And this is something we've talked about being okay with. But Cherry doesn't want that because Cherry wants there to be a problem. Show the proof of, of the cover-up. Proof of which cover-up? Proof of the cover-up of what? Proof of, the, the, uh, proof of White Nervosa saying that, um, what's it called? Saying they would take down Xander's channel? Like, th- th- this, this, is, this is something White Nervosa herself. Um, this is proof of the cover-up enough. Here you go. True story of what? Cherry trusted you with those DMs. They weren't for free use. They were provided information so the decisions could be made. Basically, they're saying, oh, we were going to tell you Cherry did all of these things so that you could make a decision, but you weren't supposed to ever talk about them. This is them covering up this stuff. This is what I just showed you. This is what they're co- covering up. Here it is. They were well aware of the screenshots that I have here now. Kevils making fun of rape victims. Kevils doxing people. And so much more, right? And they told Xander he was not allowed to talk about it publicly. The leaker didn't want to come out when Xander decided, uh, when Xander decided when to attack Kevils. That's true. The leaker didn't want to come out. However, it's much more likely the leaker didn't want to come out because they had done something wrong. They had been in this very group chat in which Kevils was mocking rape victims for God knows how long. And the only reason they told us any of this was because they were feeling vindictive after being fired by Kevils. And now they're feeling vindictive because they were fired by Xander. And so they want to bring Xander down in a similar way, but they can't. Yeah, someone says, bro, sorry, but editing a video a day isn't that much work, especially when it's Xander's content. I showed you guys earlier me editing a video. I can do it in under three minutes. Under three minutes. $500 is fine pay for one vi- one, 20 videos over the course of a month that take three minutes. Editing is a good amount of work. I did the exact type of editing Cherry did on stream in three minutes. You want to see it again? You want to see the process that goes into this? If you're, not, if you're doing three-minute edits, you're not really editing. Yes, I know. My job isn't to do that, though. While we edit video... That's because you're shit at editing, little bro? No. Cherry trained me. Cherry told me this is how they do it. Cherry themselves did this and showed me it. Do you really want to keep saying that that's wrong when Cherry themselves made this system and gave it to me? He's not going to fuck you. You don't need to degrade yourself like this. I've known this guy forever. Still, you need to do thumbnails, uploads, release schedules. Do you know how easy that is? Hold on. Okay, so with Photoshop, right, we have a te- another template, okay? We have a template for thumbnails for Xander. Uh, it's just called template. And here is how you make a thumbnail. Let's make a hypothetical thumbnail about... Um, let's make it about Keffels because it's funny, Okay. Let's do uh, the, the photo of Keffels on the right, because it's a half-decent photo that looks good for a bus shot. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and go here. This is what Cherry did um, about 20 times over a month and was uh, upset that they get paid about $500 for it. It's very fucking easy. Select subject, do this, cut, drop, delete, delete. Then we're going to write, I don't know, she just lied. And then we throw on some other background and then we go here and we go to, I don't know, blending options. And let's give her a pretty uh, uh, drop shadow out- outline. Oh, it's a little rough. So let's not do drop shadow because it doesn't immediately work. Let's do outer glow white on a nice background that complements it. All of this work is easy. Okay. All of this work is very easy. 
And this is all Cherry did. $500 was fine for about 20 videos of this. This is not real editing work. This is not complex editing work. This is exactly what Cherry did. I read the supposed proof. That's not proof of the cover-up. That's telling someone else is to be fucking responsible, you fucking child. I'm sorry. How is that not a cover-up? I'm going to take down your channel. I'm going to take down your website, sorry, if you come out with this information that exposes this creator as a regular abuser. And the reason that I'm doing this is because it could potentially affect someone who had been covering for them. Be serious with me. I, I implore you. What you're saying is bullshit. I don't believe anything you're saying. You don't believe anything you're saying. You're playing fucking team sports. You're playing team sports. None of this is real things. Xander had a mental breakdown, or not even really a mental... It is a bit of a mental breakdown. He's not going to like me calling it that because it, it, it's kind of embarrassing. It's hella embarrassing. But he had a mental breakdown with one of his closest confidants in private, said some fed posty shit about a person who he knows to be quite fucking awful and who was awful to Cherry themselves um, once, okay? Show us the... How many views did those 20 ma videos make? Oh, yeah, I can show you the exact like revenue they generated. Let me do that. Let me do that real quick. Yeah, let me show you the exact revenue they generated. Do you guys want the exact revenue? Uh, so let's go to content. Let's go to um, uh, last 365 days, okay? And we go to uh, advanced mode. Uh, sorry, this one is uh, this one got revamped a little bit, so it's going to take me a moment. Uh, do, 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 more, 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 more. Revenue, 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 revenue. Revenue source. No, that's going to be revenue source, not revenue. Uh, do, 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 do. I think they put uh, revenue in a separate analytics page now. Sorry, I've been using a uh, add-on that is now discontinued. So it's going to take me a moment to get it for you guys. Hope that's okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Revenue. Okay, yeah, it's on this now. Sorry, I forgot they moved it here. Uh, to, 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 to estimated revenue, if we go back to, um, last 365 days, can we go back to January? Um, he was making about, during this time, he was making about maybe $30 a day. I wonder who you've sent death threats to, Ethan? Uh, people like the... 45th president of the United States who I think was better off dead, for example. A a another person who mocks victims of sexual assault. Uh, people like that. I I'm completely okay with them dying, actually. And I don't think I'm a bad person for that. And I think it's silly for leftists to pretend to. Anyways, let's get a calculator out. Okay, if he's making like, th uh, let's, let's say $40 a day for 30 days. Okay, he made about $1,200 that month, right? Um, and that means that Cherry got paid a little under half. How much re revenue was generated that month that cherry? I just said that. I just proved it to you. Um, we have videos that made, this, this one made $200. So let's go ahead, let's say 1,500, right? So there was a couple outliers from the about 30 average with a lot days being way lower than 30. 30 average is a highball if you look at this, for example, right here. Oh, this is November. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. In December, we were generating nothing. We generated nothing in November. We didn't generate money in November because there weren't the, the uploads coming out in November weren't doing well. Do you, do you see this? We weren't, we weren't, we weren't, there was no money. So I uh, cherry got paid an infinite percentage more uh, than what was earned. Oh no, Steamboat's funny. I like Steamboat. I like I like him there. I think he's silly. I think Steamboat goes does well to show people who may be on the fence about uh, who's being unreasonable here with his actions uh, that he's not a great person. Now, honestly, I haven't streamed in a while. I'm gonna be real. Um, also, keep in mind, Cherry quit the job as well. I want to play some video games. So I'm willing to chat with you guys about it pretty casually, but I'm going to play some Risk of Rain 2. So if you guys don't like flashing colors, eh, you've been warned. If Sam can find anything in his Discord about me to Cherry's tooth, might help him. Cherry claimed to, to Demon Mom that it wasn't the first tooth, and Cherry's saying Zan was lying. I mean, we can demonstrate that Cherry was lying alone with, um, like, what I showed, where Xander had sent Cherry $500 after they quit uh, of revenue, right? Um... Like, we already showed that. I don't really see the point of going further of trying to scrape through uh, DMs that don't have, uh, like, half the fucking contents be co context because Cherry nuked all of them. I, I can 
after stream, whenever Xander's available again, I can get him to do that for you guys if you really need it. But I can just also show you the recent uh, the, the recent proof of, like, here is payment that happened to Cherry post-quitting the job. I also want normal beer, Seb. Still, proof like that might help. You're correct. I'll look into it with Xander, but I'm going to be honest. I don't think proof really matters here whenever I can show shit like, this is what they were covering up. Here are screenshots on screenshots, and they're going to say, oh, well, you said something bad about someone in private while venting to a friend. It's like, be, be real. Cherry's claiming that not all the money was paid. If Cherry can get me a provable itemized list for it, I'll pay for Cherry's money out of prop pocket myself. If there is genuinely a situation in which Cherry is owed money that they actually earned, not money in which they were like, Oh, I was technically employed an extra month by Alex, but did nothing. Like, if they can prove it, I'll pay it. I can pay it if you want. Steamboat, nothing convinces you. Making death threats to someone you're beefing with and threatening to off yourself and your family is pretty fucking serious. You can't have one of that shit away. You're a fucking psychopath. Um, I really do like that you really, really want to defend someone who mocks rape victims, pockets money for, uh, like, police brutality, and doxes people. I really, really, really like that. I think that's an amazing little situation you've got yourself backed into a corner to do. Anyways, um, as for the Vosh stuff, uh, this, this is my own personal thoughts, separate. I think the Vosh defense is fucking insane, by the way, and I think Demon Mom was a fucking weirdo for still associating with him. Um, Vosh had AI-generated horse porn in there. I've seen it, unfortunately, because I use Keffels. Uh, or not Keffels. I use Twitter. Um, and... I thought the, the Keffel stuff was bad with Demon Mama, but whatever, maybe she didn't fully know. I knew, Xander knew she didn't fully know, but I wasn't fully caught up at the time. But when she started defending uh, Vosh, that was what really fucking got to me. Because do you guys know what's required to AI generate horse porn? Other horse porn. It's composite imagery. It's composite bestiality. So not only is it as bad as, like, if you had bestiality porn, it's as bad as if you had a shit ton of bestiality porn overlaid on each other. These people are not serious, and you need to stay the fuck away from them. They make little weird cults of personality that are rapidly popping now because normies are coming into politics. No matter how bad you think Xander looks during all of this, he is up 4,000 subs this month because normies don't care about the stupid dra drama shit. It's all clicky. You're missing the fucking point, you lunatic. You don't threaten to violently kill people, especially in your own fucking family. Um, I'm not sure what you mean about family. Are you aware his mother physically abused him? Like, physically hit him up till recently? If you're talking about him having done that in the past because he was being beaten, I think you hate abuse victims. I'm sure he said some fed shit about someone who was beating him. I'm sorry. I'll tell the abuse victim who's being physically harmed to not threaten their abuser next time. If that makes you happy, and that civility is what's necessary for you to think your morals are being abided by, then sure, I'll go out of my way to make sure that I tell the abuse victim to be careful of what they say in private. You people don't know how humans work. DMC is pretty heated about all of this. Oh man, I would be heated too. If I, was, if I got 15 subs in the last month and then like 16, uh, 1,600 concurrent viewers off of this drama, I would milk it dry. Yeah, Demon, Demon Noama wasn't doing well. That entire like sphere isn't doing well because Vosh absolutely nuked the, 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 the optics of it all. Because he did, like, lolly porn bullshit and horse, like, bestiality nonsense. Like, anyone who's still in that sphere defending him looks awful to everyone outside of it. I don't know why anyone is on that sinking ship. Especially when in private they're doing things such as defending people like Keffels. And how, however bad you think Keffels are, I, I promise you it's worse. Keffels was regularly, it was running a doxing discord in private for, like, content creators and whatnot and sharing this around with the likes of people like Tipster. This is uh, Xander giving Cherry money. Um, this was uh, three months after Cherry quit. I was employed by Xander Hall during this time. So here's more proof that Xander Hall was giving Cherry money. You're being lied to. And it makes you very mad to be proven that when you were so emotionally charged about it. Sorry, guys. This doesn't prove anything. Well, yeah, half of it's done. Check PayPal. Happy birthday. Money is the best gift, to be honest. How does that not prove anything? What are you talking about? Shut up and watch the risk of rain. Sinking ship Vosh. Uh, you know Vosh is down 10,000 subs, right? Right. 
But it wasn't supposed lolly stuff, actually. The women teenagers have women features. I, I think the lolly stuff is, like, easily confusable, okay? I can understand. Potentially, he did something wrong. AI justified horse porn is undefendable. I, Naomi Chance, do you genuinely fucking hate abuse victims, okay? Like, actually, though. Because people are totally gonna fucking, like, like threaten their... I, I, I can't wrap my head around that one, actually. It, I'm going to give you a hypothetical chat. Let's say you are being beaten by someone daily, and you talk to your friend, and you say, I'm just going to fucking kill them because they are beating you. Are you a bad person? Is that victim of abuse a bad person? Because what I'm looking at right now is a situation in which a person is horrifically treated, backed into a corner, and beaten down in various different ways, and eventually lashes out and is then treated like a bad person. Vosh got 5k subs again after Trump got shot. Trump's here resurrected him. Honestly, everyone got, resurrect <laughs> got resurrected by the Trump shot thing. Everyone's been in the green. But, um, yeah, no, I think that um, a lot of this is moral frogging, genuinely. And I would be willing to debate this with absolutely anyone, but Demon Mama's too scared to. If I am just this lackey kid like she's trying to play it off as, it should be an easy dunk for her. But she's scared of it. New screenshot and DMs? Sorry, Xander, I'm, uh... Here's the tooth surgery, everybody. Let's go. We're going to grind. Okay, 2K on the way to PayPal so I can pay you, and I just sent 20 bucks. It'll take three days or so to transfer. What's wrong? Tooth pay? I'm sorry. Mom gave me a cold. I don't think it's COVID. She caught it on the plane. So this is uh, about paying for the tooth pain. Uh, someone says, Zan just owned this shit, honestly. I think people would appreciate it. I agree. Uh, I know that Xander is... Um, Alex, I'm going to speak... I have the utmost respect to you as one of my best friends, so I'm going to speak to you, speak about you honestly. I think that you're obviously, like I would be, somewhat embarrassed to have, like, a vulnerable moment like that leaked on stream. I fucking would be, right? Um, so I'm going to talk to him in private, and I'm going to make sure that he has his friends and whatnot who are able to support him. And uh, I, think, I think you're right. I think he should fucking own this. I think he should say, yeah, I said that about this person after they did these horrific fucking things. My bad. I'm clearly the villain, you know? Like, sarcastically, of course. Cherry just recently got the tre tooth treated. Well, there's th th this is proof of Cherry lying again. This is just more proof of Cherry li lying. Can you ask Alex why he freaks out all the time, like when he flipped out on people for asking him not post-violent stabbing video on Twitter? Um, I think, uh, if I remember that case, um, he retweeted something and, like, warned it. And people, uh, uh, like, because it was on his page, he said, this is what my page is becoming. And people got mad at him whenever he was just trying to say, hey, this is the shit that's being pushed on me. Um, like, like, this is what the main page is becoming. I, I think that um, the, you, as an adult, you have the capability to read that quote tweet and then not press play. He did not trigger warning it. He told you what was in it. He said that it was a stabbing video and that's why he posted it. He said, this is awful that this is on it. Uh, listen, I have a, I have pretty, like, it was a video of a murder. There was no trigger warning. If he says this is this is like a video of someone getting hurt, right? This is a video of someone being stabbed. Do you need the words trigger warning stabbing above that? I don't get it. Anyone getting banned from chat is by Xander and not me, by the way. She's actively living up to your username. Yeah, I, I just don't know what to say to these people. I feel kind of bad about it. Like, uh, I liked Demon Mama when I met them in person. It was very brief. I couldn't say we were even acquaintances, right? I thought they were pretty neat. Um, and I'm kind of sad. So here is what's going on in the chat. Um, do, 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 do. It was that he needed the money to not go homeless. Me too. I hope you guys are having a good time. Um, anyways, yeah, I do have panic attacks that makes me freak out and say cringe shit, but so did Cherry. And they were cool until de DM decided they weren't. Yeah, this is another thing. Why the fuck would DM wait until they were like, until now to talk about this if this was truly the, the issue, right? Um, 
Like, oh no, Xander Hall did the following. He had a breakdown on his friend who has constant breakdowns on him and his acquaintances because he had to pay rent and would go homeless if he could not do the deposit. Hey, I know people posted this, but take a look at this. I mean, I've already seen this. Um, uh, thank you, though, Girly from Mars. I do appreciate you guys trying to inform me genuinely. Um, it, it's just like... It's just very silly because, like, the supposed proof is Xander having a mental breakdown about potentially going homeless. And then it's like someone saying here, slimy of posting that. And then Xander saying he wished harm on a person who has done horrible things. How much more of a warning do you fucking need if the person about to show you the video says it's a stabbing video? That's exactly what I'm saying. It's all moral frogging. It's, it's people who pretend, like, you can't discuss bad things or bad things can't happen in, in, in context, I guess. Like... I think it's acceptable to quote tweet a stabbing video if the reason you're doing it is to point out how prolific that type of content has become on the, the platform. I think you're allowed to talk about bad things, actually. Um, Zan should get away from LeftTube. Everyone seems like shitty humans. You are absolutely correct, Chatter. Moral high horse type people. Because drama makes more money than convincing people not to do them or during elections and testing your mental endurance. You're fucking right. Um, and here's the thing. Anyone who's going to like really get upset about Zan about this weren't watching Xander, so I don't really see the point and i've proven to you guys multiple times throughout this that cherry is lying to you and they have no proof that we're lying about anything and we've said okay yes two bad things happen xander broke down on cherry but cherry would regularly do this to us and to hide it has deleted all messages with xander as proven just uh by hold on sorry as proven by this right I think it's because most are either, either neutral or like to me, and they'll say, oh, yeah, I mean, I've been upset, too. I can't lie. Yeah, I mean, we just had Trump get, like, shot, and I'm going to be real with you guys. Um, I understand if you guys don't know the shit about Kevils, because I don't know if any of this was public, right? So for anyone who may have tuned in, and I'm sorry to repeat myself, but if you just watch Demon Mama, I'm sure you can handle a little repeating. This is... Clara, well, this is Keffels, being a drama creator so fun, fucking with my head so much, I see Lily Orchard molested her sister, and the first thing that comes to my mind is banger content, as a joke, in a fucking... Demon Mama's watching again? Demon Mama, why don't you just talk, man? It's so easy. Like, like if I am so wrong, then just demolish me. Just demolish me. If I'm so wrong. And we've said, okay, yes, two bad things happen. Xander broke down on Cherry, but Cherry would regularly do this to us. And to hide it, has deleted all messages with Xander, as proven just uh, by... Hold on, sorry. As he has no obligation to talk this, to you? Right? Okay. I Am I supposed to take her seriously if she's too scared to, though? And they'll say, oh, yeah, I mean, I've been upset, too. I can't lie. Yeah, I mean, we just had Trump get, like, shot. And I'm going to be real with you guys. Um, I understand if you guys don't know the shit about Kevils, because I don't know if any of this was public, right? So... For anyone who may have tuned in, and I'm sorry to repeat myself, but if you just watch Demon Mama, I'm sure you can handle a little repeating. This is Clara with this is Keffel's being a rehashing Keffel's drama. Rehashing Keffel's drama. This is this is Keffel's. This is not rehashing. This wasn't out. Demon Mama's pausing to try to draw uh, dodge this. This was not out. This was not out. She's pausing this to avoid it. What is she? She wants to avoid this. She doesn't want me to speak about it. So much. I see Lily Orchard molested her sister. The first thing that comes to my mind is banger content as a joke in a fucking. Demon Mama's watching again? Demon Mama? Why don't you just talk, man? It's so easy. Like. What the fuck do you mean, why don't you just talk? I reached out in private to Xander Hall and he blocked me immediately. What do you fucking mean? Okay, I'm not Xander Hall. Do I? Do you think I'm Xander Hall? I'm doing things Xander wouldn't right now. I'm an independent person. I'm not Xander Hall. Xander doesn't have to entertain you when you're lying. I don't want to talk to his pathetic paid simp. His paid simp. Little man servant. Get out of here. You're She's so mad. She's so fucking mad. It's so cringe. Like, if I am so wrong, then just demolish. Oh, look at this. Oh, hold on. Can I just rewind real quick? I see Lily Orchard molested her sister. And the first thing that comes to my mind is banger content as a joke in a fucking... Demon Mama's watching again? Demon Mama, why don't you just talk, man? It's so easy. Like, like if I am so wrong, then just demolish <laughs> me. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. I mean, already, I could like... It could be... We could done. be... I already demolished both of you. It was easy. I didn't even... All I had to do was send a single DM to Zan. 
a All single DM. Was take, was say okay. A single DM to Zan that wasn't even about this yet. It wasn't was about this. Okay, so uh, when I made the little when I made a little stream making fun of his Biden bullshit, and he had a little freak out and tried to accuse me of pedo jacketing him. And all I had to do was send. Okay, so for context said, on the pedo jacketing thing, right? Uh, she made the uh, equ equivalence of calling um, calling uh, uh, Zelensky uh, Putin is like if I called Xander Hall Epstein. I don't know if you guys know. But even for like like things like that, it's a very weird comparison, right? It, that's just a weird thing to say. That's all. Um, and I could see why whenever they they were defending a person who was actually pedo jacketing him uh, with the shoe on head stuff, why he might be defensive of that. Anyways, talk to you. Tell uh, tell Demon Mama she can like talk to me if she wants, but I don't really care to listen to her scream into a camera and say nothing. DM didn't do anything. She hasn't done anything. She's just ranted, exposed Xander having a breakdown to a friend in private, and then ignored anything on the contrary. Mind you, she won't actually play the clip. She's scared to talk to me, man. I, I, just, I don't know what else to tell her. It's, it's, it's fucking cringe. <laughs> Is Lonnie in the chat? If Lonnie's in the chat, I've got... I've got words for Lonnie. Uh, what's it called? D DM can fucking wait. Lonnie's a way worse person. Actively robbed him and tried to commit fucking, uh, what's it called? Y'all are technically talking by watching each other's stream. It's an extremely delayed call. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you're willing to watch my fucking stream and, like, do this stupid-ass fucking back and forth, uh, why won't you just speak to me? And I know why it is. It's because when you're watching the stream, you can pause it and do some theatric fucking stupid reaction and make yourself look right by being hyper-emotional. But it doesn't work whenever you have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone. You can't, you can't pull the mic away from me on a Discord call, you know? <laughs> it's so silly. I mean, am I, am I supposed to care about putting much fucking stock into a person who is genuinely unwilling to have a conversation? If, if she changes her mind and says she will, uh, like, flood my fucking chat or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Xander Hall is going to be put six feet underground. He's going to get put on a shirt by the raccoon inward. Like, come on, man. <laughs> she can pause the combo to think. I get that. Uh, can someone uh, someone who has, like, an uh, admin delete that message? Thank you. Um, it's It's silly. I don't think anyone who's, like, a serious individual is going to see this situation, see it explained, and actually care. Um... And I'll make a, I'll make a, like, a scripted breakdown of this. And a lot of you might be wondering, like, why are you talking about this instead of Xander? But, like, imagine you're Alex, right? And you've been dealing this with, for this for seven months. And you just don't care as... He, I probably care a little bit more than he does. Uh, I had to convince him to even respond to Demon Mama at all, for context. Like, he genuinely like, I just don't have a reason to talk to her, you know? I would never say something to get her banned. That would look awful for Xander. If I went on there to say, like, uh... If I went on there to say, like, fucking, uh, uh, uh like, like, the N-word or something stupid to try to, like, nuke her channel as, like, a, like, a, a rod from God by Xander Hall, it would look terrible on him. There's no universe in which I'm a risk to her channel or brand because that destroys Alex by, by, like... No, that's not, that's not a real concern. <laughs> Are the Nazis coming from Diorio? I don't know. It's, it's just one guy. I don't think it's Nazis. I think it's just one hate watcher who gets, like, a kick out of, like, me hearing me say, Ooh, can someone delete his message? I want normal beer. <laughs> Genuinely, though, I mean, TLDR of the situation, like, he said something bad about a bad person in private during a mental health crisis. He's evil for this. Am I talking to leftists or conservatives? Like, be, be real with me. Am I talking to leftists or conservatives? Because I know damn well, I, I've interacted with leftist communities. They are deeply mentally fucking unwell. I, I, I know damn well there's a ton of, uh, that's not an accurate TLDR? Give me an accurate TLDR. Go for it. Like, it's high school level drama, yeah. Anyways, I'm get, glad Zan's getting away from the stupid shit. I mean, I feel bad for Alex because he really, really, really wanted to like these people. And there would be a lot of times where it was like, 
I think, um, Xander, correct me if I'm wrong on this, okay? But I think with the, the Vosh stuff, before you had seen the Vosh stuff, you were like, oh, maybe, maybe there's some, like, acceptability to it because you hadn't seen the images at the time. Um, and then you were, like, crushed to find out that someone who you respected was that. Yo, I be calling. Oh, I'll wrap it up. Hey, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm talking too much. You're right. I've been talking too yeah, much on yeah. this, but... I feel like we're giving, um, I feel like we're, uh, we're giving her just too much content. I feel like we've got to wrap it up. It just... I mean, it, you down to play some video games it. and just stream it? Completely unrelated? Uh, I'd rather not stream it, because they're, they're just gonna, like, stream the watching it, because we'll talk about this. I want to be able to talk about it and not have, like, every That's single fair. one picked apart. Yeah. I think there needs to be a, uh, someone in, uh, Larry Banks in the chat says, I think there needs to be a discussion where two sides need to come to a neutral setting to debate this. I mean, I'd be okay with that. But that's not going to well, happen. Here's my general. I'll, I'll give a final uh, statement on this. I'm sure I'll talk about it on stream in the future. But like, no one's mental health is perfect, to be clear. And I definitely like had a few cases where I, I had these wild panic attacks that led me to panicking, assuming the worst is going to happen because that's the only thing that could happen. Of course, right? That's all your mind can imagine. And so you start freaking out. And it's not that like things are going to be over. It's that they're already over. If you say you haven't been in that situation, you haven't been in that headspace, you're lying. I feel like everybody has been there, and anyone pretending otherwise is just kind of, like... It's more so that it, it doesn't end up being a big public spectacle. And in this case, for me, it has to be a big public spectacle. Frankly, I don't really think it's that big a deal. I'm sure I'll take some bit of sub-loss, but we're just going to keep at that grind, as I always have whenever there's drama. There's been tons of content creators with embarrassing moments and whatnot that have... Way more embarrassing moments than this, to be very, very honest with you, to be on, like, clearly. Um, I mean, there's people who say the shit that I said on stream, and that's their career, right? Yeah. Like, that's their entire character. I, I just don't really see it as that serious outside of a sphere of people who already really hate me. So I want to clarify that um, everybody, for the most part, that was in the chat besides a few people, are, like, part of a sphere that already really doesn't like me. Um, so yeah, it's, it, it's really bizarre. Um, well, not really bizarre at all, actually. It's, it's very, uh, believable. Um, I don't really think it's gonna be that big of a deal. Um, I mean, like, obviously that behavior isn't acceptable. Um, but I don't think it's as serious as it's being made out to be. Like, I think it's one of those things where it's like, oh, that's pretty cringe, but like, I don't think it needed to be aired publicly. I think that's probably most people's reaction. And actually, I know it is. I've seen that response quite a bit. Anyway, do you want to go play Valheim? Because I want um, to make our cat. Yeah, sure. We finally have the ability to get uh, bronze. I'm, I'm down to hop on Valheim. Uh, let me go ahead and say my uh, like closing minute Finish or so. Of just like, hey guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you have a good time here. Get that kind of thing. Uh, run through the chat one last time. Uh, and just uh, explain something real quick. Anyways, all right. I'll talk to you in like two minutes in. Okay, hello everyone. Um, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, please know that Xander really didn't want to touch this topic. He didn't care. He doesn't care about these people. He doesn't care to interact with them, right? Uh, and as such, I pushed for this pretty hard to make any kind of response happen because I realized that a lot of the key pieces such as certain screenshots and whatnot and obvious lies aren't there. Uh, I don't really think we'll be covering or touching on it like again at all because there's really not much point to. Uh, we've shown you what we can that shows obvious fucking lying happening to you, and if that is not enough for you, I don't know what to tell you, right? If it isn't enough that I can show you screenshots that completely contradict what were, was being said, meanwhile, they can show two screenshots of a mental health breakdown, right? Um, GG's, I guess. But for the rest of you who are having a good time, I hope that you guys uh, have a wonderful night. And um, don't worry too much about anything about this going on. This is terminally online fucking bullshit. Xander will be fine. I'll be fine. Um, hell, Demon Mama Cherry and all of them will be fine. Uh, but I would like you guys to take a genuine critical look at the people you follow. Because a lot of things recently have gone by completely unaddressed and left to spaces. And it's just concerning. Uh, mainly with Vosh stuff. And I think that a lot of that's been given a free pass. But I hope you guys have a good night. And uh, for Archinia or whatever, uh, since you just got here, you should rewind into the VOD. Uh, that's already been spoken about quite a bit, and I understand your perspective fully. It makes sense. But you should hear what we had to say. All right? Hope you guys have a wonderful night, and goodbye.